censorship does exist, and uh, it, it's unfortunate. Um, that has not deterred me, however. Uh, I've gone on, uh, I've got a movie coming out June 26th that Al mentioned, which is part of the reason why I'm going around. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm a shameless self promoter. You know, I, want to, I want people to go see my movie, uh, especially after this experience. Yeah, and this is a feature film. It um, stars Jim Caviezel and uh, Cheryl Ray Agdash Lou. I don't know if you remember her, but she was on 24. She was nominated for an Academy Award for The House of Sand and Fog. You probably recognize her if you saw her. She's an Iranian actress. And this is a story set in Iran. And it's the true story of a stoning incident. How many of you know what stoning is? I mean, there's a, a lot of young ladies in this room. You know, if... Uh, <coughs> somebody accuses you, uh, a, a woman, of a moral crime, meaning uh, you uh, may have uh, uh, had sex with your boyfriend or outside of your marriage or in some cases even looked at a, a, another uh, woman's husband, etc. Someone can bring a moral charge against you and you have to prove your innocence. They don't have to prove that you did anything. This is in Iran today, and in other countries as well. My family's Iranian. That's how I know. I lived in Iran as a child. So, luckily, I was living there, though, before it became an Islamic Republic. It's become an Islamic Republic, a very fundamentalist Islamic Republic under Sharia law, which means that if a woman is accused of a moral crime, she has to prove her innocence. And if she can't prove her innocence in one day, she's found guilty, and the punishment is stoning. And what they do is they dig a hole. They bind the woman's hands very tightly behind her, put, a, you know, put her in the hole, bury it, and she's only exposed from the waist up. Then they stand 30 feet away, they have a huge pile of rocks, and they start throwing the rocks. And they can't have a rock that's too big, because if it's too big a rock, if it hits her, she might die right away, and they don't want that. They want to last longer. So the rock has to be small enough to cause some damage, but not too much damage. So what they proceed to do, and it's usually the men, and it's almost exclusively the men, line up and they throw rocks in. So she dies. Sometimes that'll take 10 minutes, and sometimes it'll take much longer. And it's, I have seen video of actual stonings. You can only watch them once, barely that. They're usually surreptitiously uh, recorded by somebody's cell phone. And it is barbaric. And uh, I read about a stony incident. My wife is, a, is also a screenwriter. We both read of a stony incident in Iran that occurred 20 years ago. They continue to go on. I get emails every week about stonings that happen in different countries. Um, and this particular incident was published in a book in Europe by an Iranian journalist who escaped. And it's a devastating account of a particular incident. And so we seized upon this and decided that this would make a powerful movie. Because people need to know what's going on in certain parts of the world. Because I think a lot of the time we get caught up in our own daily lives here and we don't realize 